Hey guys, Chris once again. And welcome to my video on my... Megan. Um... Where do I start? Um... Megan is basically my coping mechanism. I've slept with her... Well, not slept with her, but I've... Had her next to me for ever since I got her for my birthday. Um... She is my... Hold on. Sorry. And she is like my number one best friend. She's my OG best friend. Um, she's I love her to pieces. Look how cute she is. Um, and a few things I want to say about this. She has a piece of plastic stuck to her here for some reason. But I've she's she, me and her have been I've been side I've been um with Megan side by side ever since I got her for my birthday in May and um she's been like my whole world to me and some people might oh you still have a tough animal as a best friend I'm like yeah because um if I didn't have her I would never I I just be sad all day um I mean I don't have much friends oh I have friends but they um don't live next to me, um, but Megan has been has been my be bestie since, like I said, since um, I got her in May a couple months ago, and she's been. I mean, she's she's helped me through some dark times. Like I take her on car rides everywhere with me, and um, uh, she's been. Um, like when I, I have anxiety. Or social anxiety, I take her with me around a bunch of people because I don't like being around being around a bunch of people. But when I have to, I take Megan with me, and she um, makes me feel way better when I, when she's with me in those dark times and um, when I'm and and when she's not with me through times like that, or when when I lose her, or if I leave her somewhere. I get a mental breakdown because I need to have her whenever I'm feeling sad, depressed, or going to tear up. I just give her a good, I just give her a good squeeze and a good hug, and I and I feel better. It makes me feel comfortable. It makes me feel warm inside, and it makes me feel comfort. Um, she and I call her she because she is my because she's just my. My right, my right side, my right side companion. She's my best friend. Um, people, um, when we go to stores, sometimes I leave her in the car. Sometimes I take her in there with me. Um, I don't get rude remarks, but if I ever do, um, you're too old for a plush here. You're too. I'm like, listen. Screw you. You don't know what my life is about. You don't know what. I've been through, okay? If I'm in a store and I'm walking around with her and I'm not hurting anybody and it's 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 she's for me. She's mine. She's not yours. You don't know what my life is. It's my life. And then and uh, I mean I'm carrying her around, yeah, but it's not hurting anybody. Okay? She's it's not she's not like it's none of your business anyway, so. Yeah, she's just, she's just my best friend, and, um, I never want to lose her. Like, if there's ever a house fire, and I had to get out, this is, she is the first thing I grab out of that fire, if, if, it, if it ever happens. Like, she's going to be with me till the day I die, probably, um. It's just how I feel. It's how I feel inside. Um, it, she's just something that helps me with with neg the negative part of my life. Like our dog star, she's probably gonna be put down soon, and it's gonna be a very sad time for me. I'm probably gonna cry. But Megan is going to be right there with me by my side whenever I need her, and. It's just something that, it's just a little thing that they have, and, um, 
sometimes I get bullied or ridiculed for having a push and I'm 26. I'm like, so fucking what, man? For people, I mean, she's basically my comfort blanket. Is what she, is what I call her. Okay. You can't judge me because you you don't know me. All right. Um. But yeah, she's gonna be by my side till the day I die. And people, some people, yeah, they might find her creepy. You might find her scary. But it's just she's just something that that helps me with my problems. I mean, I I talk to family. I call family. But if I need something, but if I need to be comforted or if I want something to hold and hug then I pick Megan if my cat because my cat is like being messed with so I hug Megan and there's no shame in that okay there's no shame in that if you all have something like this a plushie a toy a figurine you hold close to you then you understand um she's been by my side since May the sec May the sixth when I got her my mom and family got her for me. That's another part. And with my brother being pat, being dead, my grandma being dead, she's helped me through all that as well. I mean, whenever I'm sad, I just give me a squeeze, and it makes me feel better. There's nothing wrong with that. But that's my story time. Thank you for listening. And no, thank. You. So, with that being said, thank you all for watching, take care, and I love you all, family and friends, on the Facebook world, and uh, me and Megan will see you in the next one. Peace.